Hello and welcome to The Lucky Roll, an eclectic channel for eclectic games. And today we're looking at the top five reasons to love Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. Number one, the price. For what is essentially a standalone expansion, you get an awful lot of value for your money. Jaws of the Lion is packed with scenarios, components, new monsters and new characters, and is a more compact version of the Gloomhaven universe without compromising the main Gloomhaven experience. If you want an affordable Gloomhaven experience without spending over a hundred euros for the core set, then Jaws of the Lion has you sorted. Number 2. The Setup Gloomhaven, the core set for all its brilliance, takes time to set up. There is a lot of pre-game administration to get through before you can enjoy your game. Jaws of the Lion, while still needing a degree of setup, plays its game on the campaign book rather than separate board tiles. This is an extraordinary time saver as moving on to the next scenario is just a question of turning the page. Whereas with the core set, the host had to remove all the furniture, trap tokens, all the monsters, all the tiles, set up the new scenario, reset the tiles, furniture, trap tokens and the monsters. Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Line skips two of those steps and it allows you to easily squeeze in that extra dungeon if you're having a good solid gaming session with your friends. Number three, the size of it. There are 25 scenarios in Jaws of the Lion, whereas Gloomhaven, the core set, had at least 95, not counting side scenarios and unlocked scenarios. Gloomhaven, the core set, is a behemoth, and whilst that is one of its main selling points, it's a game that will demand a massive amount of your game night time if you want to enjoy the full product. I have had relationships that demanded less commitment than Gloomhaven, the core set, does. My friends and I met on a regular and semi-regular basis for over a year to play this game, and we still haven't completed it, as life inevitably gets in the way over such a long time. Jaws of the Lion is like a summer romance. It's a wonderful break and all the fun of a relationship without the long-term commitments to time that you and your friends have to make over a whole year. Number four, new characters, new battle goals, and new city cards. If commitment is your thing, then Jaws of the Line is just the thing to spice up your relationship with Gloomhaven the core set. As well as new scenarios, this expansion can be folded into your main game of Gloomhaven. It helps to make a fantastic game better. Variety is the spice of life and Jaws of the Line has a nice sprinkling of spice to add to your core game. Number five, it's our competition game for this month. If you hit that magic subscribe button before November 13th, 2020 and comment count me in on our competition video, you could win a copy of your very own no matter where in the world you are. And even if competitions aren't your thing, I urge you to check it out regardless. If you're a hardcore Gloomhaven advocate, it's the perfect filler to while away the time before Frosthaven. It's also the perfect way to establish or buff up a group of players as it has a learn as you play system that is very player friendly. Life being life, people move on and if you want to replace players or even give more of your friends the authentic Gloomhaven experience, this is a great way to do it that isn't overwhelming to new players. If Gloomhaven is something that you'd like to try before you commit, then this is the perfect cost effective way to try the experience before dropping more cash on the bigger and more demanding core sets. Until next time, this is Sean from The Lucky Roll. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff and until next time, good luck and God bless.